Hey. Hey. Is she any better this morning? Stupid question, of course she isn't. Listen, has she said any more about Chaz? About what? Like what they might have spoken about. All she spoke about was him. How could she still love him? I should have gone with her. What, you reckon you could have handled it better? She's losing it. She is really losing it. She's made me promise not to touch him. She's got no chance of happiness until we get him out of her life, you know. Oh, do you think I don't know that? And while you're sat here waiting, she's getting worse. Oh. What are you saying about me now? Nothing. Uh, planning the day. Planning the day, yeah. Um, your mum's going to go with you to the hospital this morning. Yeah. OK, well, let's go then. Unless you need some more time to plan the day. Crazy. Crazy? He's burying money on the moor so no one can ever find it again. Yeah. Been too long since I've seen you smile. Look, we all let things get on top of us from time to time and bottling it up just makes it worse. Why did you run away from the hospital? Just felt useless. Right. Useless? You, you're the most capable girl I've ever known. Right? None of this is your fault. Isn't it? Can't help but think it must be a punishment for giving her away when she was a baby. <sighs> well, you've got to stop blaming yourself for everything. You're a great mum. I'm trying to tell you why. Because you're doing the best that you can. Right? That is all anybody can do. Found me then. Don't have to. If you're not ready to come home. Can't keep hiding, can I? Come on, I'll come with you. Can we pick Jack up on the way? Of course. Thanks again. Didn't know if you'd be coming today. Why wouldn't I? Hey. Have I done something wrong? Debbie came yesterday. Yeah, Lisa said. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd see her at first. You know, you can refuse to see visitors in here. It's the one right you've still got. But, um, well, I figured that'd be the coward's way out. I reckon that I order some kind of explanation. Oh, so how was it? How do you think? Well, I don't know. You know, maybe it, maybe it helped you both start to move on. Right, she had a go at you. Yeah. Yeah, she had every right. It's what she said about you. What? It worried me. Well, what'd she say? Okay, let me guess. That I left my wife for her, then I got in with you, and so it won't be long before I move on to someone else, yeah? Hmm. It's about the size of it. Can you believe her? What? What's not to believe, Cameron? She's right about the first thing. I got fooled. Look, I've done it once, so I can do it again, Jazz. After everything we've been through, can you really see me leaving you? I don't know what to believe. I know I could be banged up for years. Yeah, you say you're gonna stick by me, but. Maybe Debbie's right. Maybe you can't stick with anybody for that long. Don't look at me like that. If I'm honest, well, I guess I wouldn't blame you if you did decide that you couldn't wait that long. You'd be seeing Debbie every day, won't you? You already feel sorry for her, and who knows, in time, well, those feelings might change again. She said she'd been calling her. 
Yeah, to find out how Sarah is. Me and Debbie are finished, Jess. I guess I could say the same. In fact, none of my family want to know me anymore. Well, they've definitely taken me under their wing. Kane's my new best mate. Every time I turn the corner, he's there watching me. Yeah, and we both know that he could do more than just watch you. Which is why I couldn't hold it against you if you do want to move away. How many more times, OK? I'm here for you, no matter how long it takes. Chaz, please, don't give up on us before we've even had a chance to get started. You got nothing better to do than spy on me. You don't scare me. stare at you for a while. You want to make a place, go. Lost your bottle. Okay. <coughs> Isn't life full of surprises? I'm surprised that you haven't done it sooner. <laughs> I just went for the right moment. You just had to push me, didn't you, eh? Make me break my promise to her. Deb Debbie's. You do not get to say her name again. <coughs> just, 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 so we're clear. We understand each other. I, I blame you for this. What? I'd do the same in your shoes. You, you spent me a beg for mercy, I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Right. Glad we understand one another. We always have kind of two sides of the same coin, you know what I mean? Skill on that. All those lies you told our Debbie. How much you loved her. And you stick by her and Sarah, and all the time, you and Jazz are cheating behind the back. I'm not proud of that. You deserve to die, don't you? Don't you? What? what? No heartfelt plea? Are you going to make up to Debbie somehow? I won't waste my breath, Thomas. Just, just finish me off. Hmm. Hmm. You can thank Cardelli for that one. See, she's scared I'll end up inside. If your body was found, I'd be the number one suspect, wouldn't I? But don't think that lets you off the hook. Because you've seen how easy this can happen. Yeah. See, the old, the old Cain would have done it when he had the chance, I reckon. I reckon you've lost it since you're a bit of bother, mate. Yeah. Oh. Don't kid yourself. 
as I will take you down when I am ready. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's funny that because I, I feel the same way. Except I, I won't be given any second chances. Then I guess it's just a question of who strikes first. <laughs> <laughs>